So, as of now, February 26, 2021, NFTs are revolutionizing the way digital artists sell their art online. I have talked to a couple of friends. People told me that they made 40 grand in two weeks. People himself made three and a half million in just one weekend. I know artists who are dropping beautiful pieces every day and they're selling them for five, six, seven thousand dollars every single day. And then there are stories like mine, which are losers' stories. <laughs> so in November or October 2017, we were living in Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is the startup hub for Europe and the Middle East. I was invited to a product presentation for a famous crypto art company. I'm not gonna say the name because there are people watching this video who were with me, who were involved in this story and I don't wanna, I just don't wanna, I just don't wanna make anybody mad. And then we went for dinner with these guys. It's a little bit embarrassing the whole thing, but anyway, at the time this application was mainly thought for museums and so artists would upload a digital version of their artwork and they could display it into museums and if people wanted to buy these digital artworks they were already working on how to transfer you know the license and the ownership of these artworks to people who could have then enjoyed the artwork digitally at home and at the time the idea to me seemed stupid I remember that I was having this conversation with the owner of the company and he was explaining the whole thing to me and then you know I remember talking to him and said you know I'm working for Chaos Group the makers of V-Ray and the guy was basically blunt like he did not know what I was talking about then I told him you know I'm a digital creator I do 3d and so I showed him the renderings that I had on Behance back then and he was looking at these renderings and he was like so you mean that these are not pictures these are renderings and I was like what is he talking about like you know I have some renderings that are okay but for my own taste I think it was a little bit overreacting but anyway, it doesn't matter. At that point, I asked him, can I take a look at the application? Do you have it on your phone? Because one of the integrations that this application had was VR. And so you could project things from the phone directly to say a wall or a piece of furniture. And so he said to me, well, you know, I have some of the artworks that uh, the, the painters that we're working with and the sculptors that we're working with, they did in 3D and they gave them to us so that we could um, showcase the, the product to investors. And so he opens up the application and he shows me a pyramid, a spear and a cube. They were like red, blue and green. Like, I don't know if you remember in 2006, 2007 when you open 3ds max and you did like basic geometry and the basic geometry will come out all like jaggy and laggy like you know the the graphics of like windows 98 that was what the artwork looked like and so the guy was talking to me and he was like yeah if you're interested we're currently looking for artists to give us things that we can actually mine and put online and at the time there wasn't even like a mining fee or any gas fee, you know, the guy was like, yeah, it's completely free, just give me your artwork, I'll put it there, and then we'll use that to showcase and to have conversations with, uh, with investors. And to me, at that time, that smelled a little bit fishy. Yeah, I know. I remember going home that night and I was talking to a friend of mine that was also an artist living and working in Tel Aviv and we were having a conversation about this and we were like, oh, that's so stupid. How can people raise money with such stupid ideas? And then along comes Beeple, makes this three and a half million flash sale over a weekend and the crypto art world basically just changes. Now, why am I making this video? There is no silver lining and there is no, and I'm not really making myself look good by saying these things. I'm saying this because it is a good reminder for ourselves that even though you might think of yourself as an expert and as somebody that understands the field that you're in, that more often than not, you can get things wrong 
also. And so now I'm looking back at this thing and I'm regretting not jumping on this a little bit earlier, but even more, I'm regretting the fact that mentally I wasn't really able to understand what these guys were talking about. I did not see the possibilities which are actually there because the market is proving that these possibilities were there and I regret not starting putting out my artwork um, online a lot earlier. Anyway, I did it for the first time today. I might, I minted, minted, min, minted, mount, mounted, I mounted <laughs> two artworks today. I put them up for sale at 0.1 Ethereum and luckily some people are already buying them. So I don't know, I wish I did that a lot earlier.